oysters, plus they're nice and sweet. And then we have a variety of oysters. Uh, there is a Kumamoto oyster. These men seem to be enjoying a delicious plate of oysters. What they don't know is that they are also ingesting hundreds of microplastic particles. Seafood, from salmon to oysters, is an essential part of people's diets around the world. However, what many people don't know is that they're also eating microplastics embedded in ocean organisms, an increasingly important threat to our own health and the health of our environment. Microplastics are less than five millimeters in length, often going undetected by seafood consumers. For example, 83% of prawns tested in the UK had microplastics in them. That might make you think twice the next time you want to enjoy a shrimp cocktail. It was estimated in 2015 that roughly 8 million tons of plastic enter the world's oceans each year, but only 1% is floating at the surface in visible form. This means that the majority of plastic in the ocean are microplastic. So, how did microplastics end up in our oceans? Important contributors to microplastic abundance in the ocean are wastewater treatment plants and coastal landfills. Many microplastics originate from wastewater from homes, which is then transported to wastewater treatment plants. A study conducted by Dr. Maria Kazor found that wastewater treatment plants had an estimated daily discharge of 227 million microplastics, and that the marine concentration of microplastics decreased with increasing distance from these plants. This evidence demonstrates the significant contribution of wastewater treatment plants to the presence of microplastics in our oceans. Microplastics are also created through the breakdown of consumer plastic products, textiles, manufacturing, and cosmetic remnants. These materials are then congregated in coastal landfills, where this study found microplastics were in even higher abundance than the wastewater treatment plants, and microplastics can flow easily into the ocean. Microplastics in our oceans is a human-driven issue, as we can see through the significance of our wastewater and coastal landfills as contributors to marine plastic pollution. Microplastics now have a large presence in the food chain. Microplastic interference in the food chain can begin in an organism as tiny as a zooplankton, which commonly mistake a plastic particle for the phytoplankton they consume. From there, microplastics continue to climb up the food chain and accumulate as smaller marine organisms are consumed by larger ones. Also, bivalves, such as oysters, scallops, and mussels, also capture microplastics as they filter water throughout their bodies. Eventually, these microplastics can end up on your plate. Currently, we lack sufficient safeguards to prevent microplastic inclusion in our diet. Though we absorb less than 1% of microplastic particles consumed, that 1% adds up. Gross! Why should we care? Microplastics are severely denigrating marine organisms and their habitat. Consumption of microplastics by young fish is stunting their growth and killing them before they reach reproductive age. If this trend continues, predator fish could lose their food source, disrupting the food chain. Microplastics also cause catastrophic damage to the marine ecosystem due to their toxicity. Consumed microplastics release toxins into the consuming sea creature, causing physiological issues and death. Toxins include persistent organic pollutants, endocrine disruptor chemicals, and other hydrophobic chemicals from the manufacturing process. Microplastics don't just impact the health of marine animals and environments. People are ingesting microplastics every day, and we don't know the long-term health impacts of microplastic consumption. This isn't going to be an easy problem to solve due to how difficult it is to remove these tiny particles from the ocean environment and due to microplastics accumulating in organisms throughout the food chain over time. But now is the time to take action. Call your representatives, inform your peers, and learn more about the dangers of microplastics. It's not just about animals or environments and distant lands. It's about the future of our health as people. <laughs>